Hey everybody, we are going to film the makeup look for Kryptonite, Flame, and Aqua for the 2022 season. This is um, the same look pretty much that we've done every year. Uh, there might be a couple of clarifications, but for the most part, it is the same. Um, you don't have to use the same products that I use, just as long as you achieve a similar uh, color or look, that's fine. But I will share with you what products I use. The first thing I do want to mention before we get started because this doesn't really fall under hair or makeup, but I want to make sure we know those earrings that come home in your Ziploc bags that you'll get with your tights and all that stuff. These are required to wear for the whole competition for everyone. Um, I do have a couple of extras I keep in my bag for purchase if you lose yours or forget yours, but I am like, these are the amount of extras that I have for the season. So make sure that you're wearing your earrings um, and that your hair and makeup looks the same. That way we're uniform, we're maximizing our score and that we're just giving the best uh, possible appearance. So without further ado, let's get started with Leah. All right, so Leah has already closed your eyes. Leah has already washed off her face really well. Um, I do eyes first because I can get messy with eye makeup and then that way I clean it up with uh, foundation, but you can do it in a different order. So um, I'm only gonna do one eyeball because we're home for the eyes today and it just feels a little extra to do both eyes. But I'm putting a primer all over her eyelid, just spreading that out, any primer is fine. And then for your um, eyeshadow colors, I use the Naked 2 um, Urban Decay Basics palette. This is an old palette, so I don't know if you can get it anymore. But I'll show you the colors and why I like it. So what we like is a neutral brown matte look. So I have like a dark shade, a medium shade, a light shade, and some other basic shades. Um, there's no shimmer in this one. We have shimmer that we use later. But um, this is just a good, it's like brown but has a gray undertone to it. That's why I like it the best. But again, as long as you're close to what we do. So this is, honestly, this is the same look I do on my eyes every time I wear eyeshadow, just different colors. So Leah, I'm gonna tilt you just a little bit. Just face that way. So I'm gonna do the lightest shade all over her whole lid, all over that whole primer. So that gives her like a base, the whole thing. Then I'm going to go in with a medium shade, so probably for her because she's a little bit lighter toned, this one. Or sometimes I kind of dabble in like both of them. But anyway, it goes light, a little bit darker, then even darker, and then darkest. So we're just getting darker as we go. And I'm just taking it and I'm turning it like this. So what that's doing is creating a shadow in the crease. Don't lean towards me, honey. Just stay right where you are. Okay. Um, so in the crease right there. So I'm just giving that dimension. So we're not trying to do anything like too crazy, really. We're more just trying to highlight their natural features. What I will say is because it's stage, you want to go in even heavier than you normally would because the lights take away a lot of what we're doing. What's great is I'm using a ring light right now to do her makeup. Right now I'm going in with the next to the darkest shade with like a flat type brush. Anyway, I'm using a ring light, so that's going to help me see what her makeup looks like with a bright light on it because it might look like a lot when we're just watching them but on stage it washes them out so just a little bit too much in regular light is best so i went in and i just patted right into the crease that medium color now leah is pretty fair skinned right now she usually gets a spray tan uh for competition so she's usually a little darker um but i'm going to take this this has nothing on it i'm just blending it out a little bit to take away some of the harshness of that so I, I just want it to look, you know, a little more natural than it was. Not completely natural, but all right. Then I'm going to go in with the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm going to pack that into her outer corner. And this one is why, make sure we're still seeing it. This one is why I need to do foundation and stuff after. Because if you can, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I'm leaving little specks all over her face. But I'm able to wipe that away. Quit leaning away from the camera, please. Um, I'm able to wipe that away when I'm done. So I just give her a nice little blup out there. I don't know if blup's a word. <laughs> in the outer corner. And then now I'm going to take some concealer. Just a little bit. And I'm going to do a cut crease. And for those of you that aren't makeup people, what a cut crease is, is it's taking foundation or concealer 
and like basically cutting out a shape with a brush. So the best type of brush I think for a cut crease is this, this kind of brush and it's nice and flat and little. And so I um, am gonna take just the smallest amount of concealer because she just, she's got a little face. So close your eyes, make sure we're gonna tilt a little bit more towards the, I know you can't see it because your eyes are closed. So we're gonna do this way. So you can see, I'm just gonna take this concealer and dab it in and basically I'm carving out is what the YouTube people say. I'm carving out an eyelid again, so I'm making this look like a fresh base. My concealer's a little drier than I thought, so I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. And so this gives me that nice, clean look right here. Make sure you're not looking in your eyes, sweetheart. Leah wears contacts, so her eyes are really, really sensitive. So when I do this part, sometimes we've got a little bit of fidgeting going on, but she's doing a really good job. And so I'm just kind of doing like a, an eyelid shape, but when I get to the part right here where this is, this darker color was meeting kind of her regular eyelid, I'm gonna take my brush and swipe it back and forth really lightly. And that's gonna kind of blend like ombre effect, those two colors, to like the concealer and that dark color together and keep your eyes closed. That's gonna keep um, that blended. One step you don't have to do, but just like kind of a tip is I go in with a clean brush again because now I kind of have like a harsh line right here and just kind of blend out across the top. I'm really careful not to get it on that part. So I'm letting that dry just a little bit. And while that's dry, I'm like reaching around in a very uncomfortable way, but we need a champagne-ish kind of glittery color. This is just to give them a little pop of shimmer. I use something different every single time because it's like, oh, <laughs> we, I almost lost the game. Um, most palettes, sorry, we have like a whole home situation happening here. So most palettes have some type of champagne color. Um, and so I'm looking for something that's kind of, gosh, that's hard to see. It's like shimmery like this. So let's try to get this where we don't fall apart again. I'm going to turn you again towards the camera. So whatever that champagne color is, I'm just going to take my finger in it because to me the shimmery colors just work better with the natural oil of your finger. And I'm just dabbing it onto that spot where, oh, that's our one. We need to remember that one. Fireplace Cuddles by Too Faced is what this is. But anyway, there's tons of colors like that. So I just took my finger and dabbed it onto um, her eyelid there. And that gives a nice pop of color. So you can open your eye right now. So it looks a little bit crazy because we don't have all the lashes and everything, but that's all the eyeshadow. So what I can do now is take a face wipe. I didn't have to be careful because I did her eyeshadow first and I can go in and wipe off and I would do it on both sides, of course, on a normal day. I can wipe off any fat, like concealer or eyeshadow or whatever that fell. All right, so now we're going to prime her face. Any face primer is fine. And then we're going to do foundation all over her face. Um, a nice thick layer of foundation. Again, you always want to use a little bit more. Well, for kids, it's way more than they would ever need because they shouldn't be wearing foundation, need it foundation anyway because they have nice young skin. But we want to do a nice thick, put your chin just a little, um, a nice thick layer of foundation. And then um, we're going to come back and I will already have her foundation done. All right, so we're back and she's looking crazy. Look at the camera, because we're only doing half. <laughs> and obviously this color is way too dark for her right now. But something I did want to show you a trick is I have her close her lips like this. That way when I'm doing this, uh, can you face the camera please? When I'm doing this, I'm not getting makeup on her lips. Also chin up. You want to make sure that we get all right here. Uh, because when Leah is spray tanned, this is actually pretty close to the color that I would be using for her. Um, I can't remember which side is what I'm using right now. Um, but even then I'm usually a shade darker than what her like skin and neck would be, her chin and neck would be. So you go all the way down as far as you can. You tilt towards me just a smidgen so I can see it, but chin up. So we want to make sure that we blend all into the hairline. We don't want to have that harsh line right around here. All right. So we got like the before and after of craziness. Cause it does, it does look crazy. That's the thing is it might feel wrong on your kid to be doing this, but you have to remember it's four stage. We want to make sure we're staying tilted towards the camera a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna do concealer, another important step of brightening their eyes. So I just swipe right underneath her eye. 
I also haven't done her makeup in a year. <laughs> so I'm like putting my amount on her right now. And she doesn't need quite as much as I do. Because I have more surface area of face. So I'm taking a beauty blender. And I am just blending all underneath. And this is also why I do eyeshadow first, because I can go right up to here and I can take this concealer, make sure we're seeing this. I can take this concealer and swipe up and create a nice harsh line right there with concealer. I just don't have, some people can do it without that. They can just do it on the, the eyeshadow on their own. And that is awesome. Can you look up with your eyeballs, but not your chin, but I'm not that person. So I trick people with the the concealer trick. So I would never have been able to make that harsh line before. So we take that and then next is setting powder and I'm trying to reach around things here. Let's use this one. We want to bake it and setting um, is really important for stage makeup because most of them will be dancing throughout the day and we're not we're not about redoing makeup. We want it we want to put it on thick and set it really, really well um, and just make it last all day long. And if you do it right, then it will. So I'm really just packing a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of powder right underneath everywhere I put concealer. And I'm going to let it sit. That's what baking is. If you don't already know, a lot of you guys already know this stuff. And then um, while that's sitting, we are going to do an overall powder, just whatever powder matches we use. We use peach blur because we're both peach undertone, but really any any setting powder can work. This helps it not be so shiny, and I'm going everywhere where that powder wasn't chin up, setting everything that's liquid. Can I look right back at the camera? Yeah. Can we look? Okay. And then I'm just going to brush off that excess. Of course, in a normal day, that would be sitting there a little bit longer. But here we are. Hold on. She's got a hair. <laughs> there we go. I feel better? Yeah. All right. So now we're going to go in with contour. And again, this is all to highlight their natural features. It's not to do anything crazy or different. It makes them not look like themselves. But it will feel like you're doing extra because you are. So um, a nice contour palette I like is Coco Contour by Too Faced. I don't think they make it anymore. But anyway, um, again, we're working with matte contour shades. So I'm just going to make, uh, Leah knows what face to make, I guess. Kissy face, yep. And so when she makes, uh, sucking your cheeks, so when she makes that kissy face, it gives me a line to work with. So I just take this color and just brush into that line. I'm packing it in and blending it out. You could use a cream contour if you're a cream contour person. I'm just not because... I'm not as good with the cream contour. And then I'm also going to go around her hairline with that contour too. And then um, a trick. I actually learned this from TikTok. I'm really excited to use this trick this year. I've been using this every day that I wear makeup, which is like once a week for my nose. She's got a skinnier nose. So let's see. Yeah. So I learned this off TikTok. So look at the camera. So you put a brush right here, the end of a, a brush, the stick part on your nose and I have the contour stuff right here and I pat it on like this and what that does is that contours her nose for me I don't know if you can see it very well but it did like the most perfect two lines um and then I just kind of smushed the brush and kind of the contour her which it wouldn't do that side but I clearly don't know how to do a one-sided face but anyway that gave me a really quick nose contour it highlights her nose and then I just take a little bit of the light shade of the contour palette and go right down the bridge of her nose. That looks like this, like a vanilla color. All right, then we go in with bronzer. Bronzer is your best friend at a dance competition. Um, it really warms up the rest of the face and to me blends in the, the contour and the rest of the concealer. So whatever, sorry, I keep knocking you. Okay, it's fine. Whatever bronzer you want, I use a nice big fluffy brush. And I just go in in like a C motion and you really blend all that in and bring warmth back to her face from whatever we've lost from the uh, foundation. Because if you got too light of a foundation. All right. And then next blush. Um, blush is the one where I always wish that I had done more because it feels like I'm doing too much when I put it on. Um, 
it never feels like I do enough once they get on stage. So you want to go over the top with the blush and pick a color that's really going to show up. Um, so I'm going to do like this bright of a color. And I know that seems crazy, but when I put it on her face, she's going to smile. Go ahead and look at the camera. And um, I'm going to go right here at the, the apples of her cheeks where when she smiles where it puffs up. And um, again, I'm going to go heavy because it's stage makeup. And when those lights get on her, I don't want her to look like a zombie. I want her <laughs> to look alive and, and healthy and happy. <laughs> she thinks that's funny. <laughs> All right. And then um, next would be highlight. So we want just a golden. Huh? Yep. Highlight's a fun part. And it also lets us know that we're pretty close to finishing on the face. If I can find my highlight. We're going to pause and come back. Okay, so the highlight that you want is not something too shimmery or too crazy. Uh, the one that I've been using a lot lately is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. Um, I have tons of highlight, um, but this is my favorite. And as you can see, it's just like a champagne one. Um, has some gold flick to it. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to shimmer, but it's not going to be overpowering. So I like to use a fan brush, and I'm just going to go right here at like where you can see her her bone right here I'm just highlighting that so highlight's supposed to do not take away just highlight and then I'm also go ahead and look right at the camera I'm gonna go looks crazy with the half and half I'm gonna go right down the bridge of her nose and then this is my favorite part because Leah has the cutest nose look straight at camera so I'm gonna go bloop, 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 and get some little shimmer right here at the <laughs> tip see how that adds that nice little pop and she's gonna close her lips again and I'm gonna do this right here and that gives us a, just a nice little pop right here and here sorry of that so I like to go ahead this is not a required step this is just a tip for me I go ahead and do um, a, a fix plus or a setting spray at this point I do it here and I do it again at the end um, because it brings back the dewiness go ahead and close your eyes it brings back the dewiness to their face sorry she hates that part and um, because when you add all that powdery stuff it can get kind of crazy and also, I think that double layer of setting is what makes, like, Leah will, if she didn't wash her face, her makeup would last for, like, two days after a competition. So, <laughs> we're doing something right, if that's the case. All right, so now we're talking about eyebrows. Older girls have probably figured out their eyebrow routine by now. But younger girls, you might feel like you don't want to do an eyebrow routine. And you don't have to do anything crazy. In fact, we don't want it to be crazy. But... Like Leah, she has blonde eyebrows. We need to put some color back in. Go ahead and look at the camera. We need to bring some color back into her brows just a little bit. So sometimes I'll draw in eyebrows, but I would say the minimum would be something like an eyebrow. Like what this is, it has some pigment in the brush. So I'm just brushing. And this is Benefit Gimme Brow, but there's tons of drugstore over-the-counter versions. And so as you can see, it's not anything crazy. I'm not drawing these super complicated brows. But just by adding a little pop of color into her eyebrow, it just makes her eyes pop that much more. So again, just trying to highlight. I also put in some clear brow gel to blend that out and lay her eyebrows down because she's like me. And her eyebrows get a little cray cray. Alright, so now we're going to move on to finishing the eyes. So in the waterline of her eyes... Um, I highly recommend, this is Tarte Fake Awake. This is one of those where there might be dupes, and Whitney can probably help with dupes if you want them, but I have not found a product better than this. But basically, it's an eyeliner that is a nude, as you can see, a nude color. And what this does, go ahead and look up, she knows, let's face them a little bit, is this adds um, a nice pop. So hold on, maybe we're going to show the trick. Are you good? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to let her blink. So that instantly opens her eye up so much. I use this stuff every time I do makeup on myself as well. Um, putting black liner there just makes your eyes look smaller. So that's a fun little learning thing for today. Makeup tips for everybody here. And then um, underneath, I'm going to use a small brush like this. And I'm going to go in with just a neutral brown shade. It could be like the medium brown that you used, you know, up here. All right, so look up. So this is actually where the, the liner look comes from. It looks like I, make sure you're looking at the camera, please, and look up. Um, it looks like I lined her eyeliner or whatever, 
but I actually put the nude eyeliner up at the top. Okay, I'm going to blow. Ready? <sighs> Got a little bit of fallout. <laughs> I just blew right in her face. Hope my breath doesn't stink. <laughs> so you can see we have that nude look. Look right at the camera. Nude look. And then the brown underneath, like it just really highlights her eyes and makes it look nice and big. So if you look straight at the camera, this eye actually looks bigger than this eye because we created that, that look. Oh. Yeah. Leah's learning about makeup too. Hopefully soon she can do her own. She's been practicing. Yep. So maybe, is this our year? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to take that same highlight and I am going to go in, in the corner of her eye to give a pop of color like that. And I'm going to go just very lightly, nothing crazy, underneath her brow bone. And if you have a higher arch, like, oh, hold on, mine comes up really high, so I would, like, do it, like, up here. But um, hers is right there. So that just opens it up. And then the last step, the step that I stink at probably the most out of everything, is uh, the liquid liner. So I'm going to go off camera for this part. But look at the camera. What I'm going to do is take a liquid liner and I'm going to line right across her eye and kind of come up with a cat eye that's not too crazy. And hopefully it looks okay when we come back. All right, we are almost done. I'm sorry. I know the makeup videos are the longest ones, but there's just a lot to say. So as you can see, go ahead and close your eye. She's got that liquid line. It's not like, you know, anything crazy, but it is thick enough that we can see it. Now it's time for the part, the dreaded for a lot of people, <laughs> fake eyelashes. But we have found a product that we think is the ultimate. This is the Eye Lure. Uh, you get these at Ulta. You may be able to get them, uh, I think, at other places too, but I know for sure Ulta. They're like $3.99 or something like that. Pre-glued lashes. And for Leah, uh, since she has a smaller face, we like the Naturals. This one's number, at the bottom says 003, but you could get the, I, I like the wispy ones too. But anyway, these are pre-glued. It's a 15 hour wear. And by far, Leah prefers these over any other lashes. Um, I think it's because they sit on top of her lashes, so she doesn't feel them as much as she d used to do the ones that we had to, like, glue on. When we glued them on, her other lashes, like her top lashes, would get stuck to the bottom. Go ahead and close your eyes. Her top lashes would get stuck to the bottom. It was a big mess. It was always this big, dramatic thing. <laughs> so I'm going to show you, hopefully. It's hard to do with nails, but... How easy these are so she has her eyes closed she's gonna sit really still and i'm gonna stick it and smush it down and she's gonna open her eyeball and we are done bam that is like i'm telling you in our mother-daughter relationship these lashes were probably one of the big things um so the last step of eyes is to add some mascara really what you're doing go ahead and look right there is to the top i I'd have her do a slow blink and I'm only doing that because she doesn't need much because of the fake lashes. It's to connect her lashes. Go ahead. To connect her lashes to the fake ones. So that kind of, you know, doesn't look separate. And then, of course, look up at your eyeball. We would do all across the bottom. Try and be careful not to be messy. But again, we're not really doing a competition today, so I'm not being super picky. But that's that's the whole eye look. And then for lips, um you need a, a red color and it needs to be a bright red so the options you have and you can get them yourself if you like the um lip scents which is the kind that you put on sorry if you like the lip scents it's the kind you put on like three layers and and it dries and stuff those stay really well leah likes it because she doesn't like to have to worry about rubbing off her lips at all she she deals with the burn yeah. to get that look so if you want to do like the lip sense the color that would be acceptable from lip sense is blue red is the is the accepted color that we will take if lip sense is not something you want to purchase or your kid doesn't want to use the lip sense your second option is um the maybelline superstay 24 color and this is a long wearing it just doesn't like you could if you chewed on it you could chew it away um, so that's why Leah just prefers, she just wants to use the ColourPop and, or not ColourPop, the, uh, lip sense and be done. I'm just taking a spoolie, hold on, I'm gonna show you what I'm fixing with her. So she got, a, I got a little bit, uh, crazy with this bottom, so I'm just taking a spoolie and rubbing it out a little bit and just cleaning that up. Spoolies are my, my favorite. So for today, I'm not gonna make her endure the burn because we're just doing yeah. this look. But basically, you just want that nice red. So, oh, I don't know if I told you the color. 
I tell them the color of this one? I don't think Keep so. Keep up the flame is the color if you're getting the Maybelline. And in the comments, um, in the group, I will put these colors with links to them. And I'm like, again, I'm not really trying very hard to do a great job because we're not going anywhere today. Okay, rub your kind of corners together. <laughs> yes, the half and half clean. <laughs> so this stuff works. It's one layer. We're going to let it dry a little bit. And then it has a chapstick that goes over it that makes it not sticky. And then um, a nice, good overall setting spray. I like um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Brandy. Shout out to Brandy for telling me about that like years ago and I've used it ever since. So go ahead and close your eyes. I want to be careful because I don't want her mascara to run. But that's my second layer of, of setting spray for her makeup. So now I'm going to put chapstick over it so she doesn't have, well like the chapstick side. So she doesn't have super sticky lips. But like I said, Leah does prefer the lip scents because she's like, I don't want to have to worry about it. I didn't let that dry all the way, but you know, you get the point. So there is <laughs> the half and half crazy look. I'm um, going to turn just the way a little bit, like kind of go at an angle. There we go. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I recommend if it's your first year to ever compete, I recommend a, a trial run. Um, that way your first time is not when you're stressed out and trying to hurry up and, and get makeup done. Um, I'll link things in the comments and I hope you guys are staying warm and have a great day.